You know, this transition from summer into winter with a quick stop in fall is something to appreciate, something to really be grateful for during this time. And begin to think about what we want to do in the winter. Absolutely. You know, it's, uh, winter is coming like you started this with, and that's another whole fun thing that we like to do. You know, but, for us, it's a really big build up to Thanksgiving, which is our favorite holiday. But right before Thanksgiving, this nice transition of weather, this transition of season, it's a really good time for you to reflect on your life. It's true. It before is. Before we um, hit that busy, crazy holiday season. Be thoughtful about the change of seasons. Like you said, we're lucky that we have four seasons. And don't despair that summer is over. We all get another one next year. Winter is coming, a phrase made famous by Game of Thrones. For many of us, that means cold and dreary weather. But instead, let's think of how we can extend the summer. Now, the days are getting shorter and the air is getting cooler. But there's still time to ward off that sad feeling of heading into winter. Winter's not sad. Well, it can be gloomy and okay. droomy, and droomy's not even a word, but So I don't today know. we're going to share with you our favorite activities to do in the fall. So, our summer, this summer, was the busiest it's ever been. I feel like we had visitors for 12 weeks. I think that's an exaggeration. It is, yeah. but I think that when we have guests, I don't think, when we have guests, we always try to make it special. We always put in the extra effort. And that just creates, not stress for us, but it just fills our day. We get up in the morning, first thing, is the coffee ready? Is the breakfast ready? We want muffins, all the favorite things that the kids want and guests. So that's what we do. So once our summer is over and our kids tend to get deep and busy into their work life and their careers and their communities, you know, and some tourists in town are fewer and further between. The leaf peepers still come, but it's a little quieter. And for us, it's time to get into a new routine. No longer is it oppressive and hot and the humidity out there. The weather is perfect for outdoor activities. So let's talk about what we love about the fall and the things that we do to really make it special. The first thing we do is we redecorate the house. Who's this we? Well, we. I carry the boxes down out of the attic. So this is really Jody's joy. So I go to the attic and I bring the boxes down, but you bring out all the new candles, the placemats, the runners on the table, the plates, and various decorations around the house, right? Yeah. I mean, this really is my joy, and it's something actually our kids laugh at until the one year I decided not to do it, and they all noticed and then requested it. But I like to make our house a home. Mark does all the heavy lifting, as he said, and then I go to town. It's not a huge ordeal. No, it's not, but it's just enough so that each room has a little bit of something in it to change it up for us. Yeah, and I mean, you know, who doesn't love the smell of a pumpkin spiced candle in the morning when you come down? So I change out the candles. I love to shop for deals and look for cute DIY, you know, items for the fall. I'm not super crafty, so that part's hard. Well, but you're very <laughs> good at it. And, you know, I don't do a lot here. This really is Jody's thing. I, I do some of the things outside, but... When she's done and I bring the boxes all up back up to the attic and we look around, the house well, looks like a home. It looks great. You know, it, it really sets the tone for fall for us. It sets the mood and it really makes us want to leap into fall activities before the winter rolls in. Yeah. We also do some changes outside the house. So we always put impatience in in the spring and in the fall we pull them out and we put in mums. And it just really adds that... That, it's like a those, transitional the colors. phase. We love the yeah. colors. We put a new fall wreath on the door. It lifts our spirits every time we come back to the house, either from a walk or going to the store. We come up to the house and the fall colors are all there in the wreath. It just really makes us feel like a change take, is taking place. It's one of the great things about living in the Northeast is the four seasons, That's right? True. And changing a few things inside and outside the house helps us move into that next season with positive spirit. Right. You know, there's a lot that we can do outside. So now that the air is cooler. And the crowds are gone. And the crowds are gone. We, and we live near the water. The beaches are empty. They are. So we love being outside in the fresh air. So what we'll do in the fall is we'll go to the beaches, like Jody said, which are empty. So instead of just walking around the neighborhood, we'll jump in the car, 
Go walk the beach. It's beautiful. You see all the birds and the water, and it's just great. Or we'll walk in the woods on trails and watch the, you know, see the beautiful changing leaves on all the trees. Yeah, you know, there's something special about bundling up and getting outside, putting on as many layers as you need, you know, pulling out your fall sweaters. Yes. Um, you know, sometimes we'll head out to a pumpkin patch, and um, I don't know about you guys, but when I was little, pumpkins were just plain orange. And these days, there's green, and there's gray, and there's white. So it is we'll go out cool. and jump into a pumpkin patch, or sometimes I can even convince Mark to go apple picking. That's a tough one, though. That is a tough one. <laughs> but another thing we like to do in the fall is take day trips. Day trips to fun little villages. You guys must we, have fun villages near you, wherever you live. Yeah, well, we love to get up where we are now. We're right between New York City and Boston, so that's 80 miles each way. So that's not really a day trip. But we'll get up early and drive to Newport, Rhode Island, let's say. It's like an hour away. We walk around the town. We grab lunch. We do a little shopping. We look at all the boats. But it's really a great day. You're there in an hour. Right. We spend five or six hours there and come home. And by five o'clock, we're back home enjoying a light meal in our newly decorated home, you know, with the pumpkin With some of our new fall outfits that we bought. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. You know, um, and then sometimes we even do like an overnight trip. Yeah, for our anniversary in August this summer, Jody bought us tickets to a Broadway play in New York. I think it's The Music Man it with is. Hugh Jackman. Yep. So you're excited about that. We're doing that in October. But we're going to spend three nights in New York City. And it'll be fun. It's, we'll get to spend some time with our daughter who lives there, as well as some friends we haven't seen in a while. And there's just something about being in New York City between the busy, hot summer and the crazy holidays yeah. That really appeals to us. So yeah. a trip to New York City will be a fun one. So the weekends away in the fall are fun. It's a low-key, pre-holiday way to just enjoy the transition. We've also planned a weekend in Vermont to go see some family. And we bring our bicycles with us, right? And we'll ride up there on the country lanes. It's just nice to get out of our normal routine and get into another community and really embrace it. And, you know, another fun activity for the fall for us is just going to the beach and having a picnic. One of the things I love most in the world is our dog, Max. And if you follow us on Instagram, you've seen Max. And the best thing about the fall is dogs are allowed on the beach yeah, in the He has fall. a blast. He loves and to run all around, chasing it. the birds. It really is a lot so of fun. So we'll bring a picnic lunch and let Max run around. And then... Well, we'll listen. We'll bring our chairs, the umbrella if it's really sunny because the beach is empty. We'll sit and read. Right. We'll bring lunch. We'll take walks. You know, the peace and serenity of being on a beach as the water is rolling up is just so helpful to our mindset and our relationship. And, you know, another favorite spot for us, and again, think about your community and what, what are you near? What villages could you get to in a day and get back? We're close to Watch Hill, Rhode Island. And oh, they we have love a Watch cute Hill. little village with shops and restaurants, small little beach town, Walking there is beautiful, so you get to change your scenery, you're out in the fresh air, you do a little bit of walking, you get to see, for me, the water is always soothing. So it's always a home run to find a little village like it that. It is, and it's place. just really worth going there before they shut down for the winter. Right. So a lot of these, like Watch Hill, a lot of stores will close on November 1st for the winter. So you want to get there September, October, while it's still open and, and active. And like Jody said, if you Google fun places to visit within 60 miles of your home, I know you're going to come up with some places that maybe you've never been to. And here's another fun thing that I'd say we do, but actually Mark does it because he's the cook in our family. We cook some fall meals, some good hearty soups, and there's nothing like the smell of a chicken soup on the stove at the end of each day when you come in and your cheeks are red and you're a little crisp outside. I just got a hanker in to cook chicken soup. We could do a video on that. We're going to do, all right, we're going to do a video on my chicken soup. It's not my recipe, but it's a good one, and I'll share it with you. And I love the whole process. I actually do the food shopping for this because I'm very particular about the vegetables we put in there and the chicken. I love to prep and cook, and of course, I enjoy eating it the only time you do the food shopping well, so let's just make that a real big exclamation it, it is, point it's true but let's do a video on you cooking the soup soon yeah we also like to head out to some favorite restaurants you know a lot of the local boutique restaurants have menus that change for the fall and invite in all of those you know 
um, different types of spices yeah. and different fall vegetables. And I think that's always really fun. And it's easier to get into them. I mean, yeah. we're, we're in a resort area and in the summer it's packed. So you have to book it two or three weeks in advance. We could go to any restaurant we want now tonight if we wanted to. So, and we like to do that with friends. Yeah. Kind of slows down a nice conversation. So it is a nice time of year to slow down and do things that you can't do in the summer. You know, the, the, one of the things we love to do, too, is to jump on our boat and just go up the river to watch the leaves. Wow, we have made quite a list today. I know. I hope that we have this not only recorded here, but also written down so we can check some of these things off. We will. You know, this transition from summer into winter with a quick stop in fall is something to appreciate, something to really be grateful for during this time and begin to think about what we want to do in the winter Absolutely. you know it's uh winter is coming like you started this with and that's another whole fun thing that we like to do you know but, for us it's a really big build up to thanksgiving which is our favorite holiday but right before thanksgiving this nice transition of weather this transition of season it's a really good time for you to reflect on your life it's true it before is before we um, hit that busy crazy holiday season be thoughtful about the change of seasons like you said we're lucky that we have four seasons and don't despair that summer is over. We all get another one next year. If you enjoyed this, please share it with your friends and also subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. And finally, join our free Facebook community. The link is in the notes below. Thanks for listening and we'll be back with you again next week.